All right, so I did a video a while back on the Balencia and you know this guy that he's he's showing you know how wicked this could be and all that sort of thing and it it's interesting uh, you know we see wickedness evilness in the world and you could probably go uh, do something as simple as um, what's that one thing the the eye uh, what do you call that the eye of Horus and I you know I don't know <clears throat> I don't know where to look really the mysticism and all that sort of way and you look at all this stuff the true meaning of an ancient symbol you hear a lot, I've heard a lot of people talk about this how oh what's that the, the penis gland or the penile gland or whatever you call that penile gland activation frequency and that sort of stuff and you look at all this stuff and it's exposing evil right and how to activate your penis 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 penal gland fast and that sort of thing and you, you know exposing <clears throat> excuse me exposing evil exposing wickedness exposing darkness right the Illuminati is another example Man, you could spend all day looking at this stuff, exposing all the wickedness and the evil in the world. And so let me ask you this. What do you find more interesting? The Word of God or exposing all these evil people and their evil agendas? What's more interesting to you? Because that really reveals where your heart is. Does it not? If your heart is set on looking at how evil these evil people are and all the evil things that they do, doesn't that reveal where your heart is? Yeah, look, I'm not here to condemn you, but just think about where is your heart? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I just want to give you something to think about, right? You'll spend four hours watching videos on how evil people are. Can you spend four minutes reading one chapter of the Bible? If you're spending more time looking at this stuff and looking at that stuff I don't want to look I don't want to condemn you because I'm just as guilty as you but it's something I have to consider and it's something I want you to consider are you spending more time on evil exposing evil and all the evilness of the world than you are actually reading the Word of God. So what's going to help you grow in the knowledge and wisdom and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ? What's going to help you grow faster? Looking at these evil videos of all the evilness and wickedness of the world? Or reading the Word of God? And really, if you don't have peace in your life, Right? If you're struggling with peace, whether it be this or whether it be that, you worry about this and you worry about that, and then you're watching this sort of stuff, you know, maybe there's a better path. Maybe there's a better way of going about things. Because I'm telling you right now, the Word of God is more amazing, more powerful than any of this stuff right here. I mean, I'm, the, the, this is no good. This is not going to help you grow. It's not going to do anything for you at all. The Word of God, it's going to help you grow in understanding, grow in knowledge, wisdom, and it's going to help you grow in peace. It's going to give you peace 
And the more you grow in peace, the less worry you're going to have, the less heartache and pain and suffering and all that sort of stuff. Because I'm telling you, when Jesus comes and we are changed in the twinkling of an eye, all this worry and all this evil and wickedness, it's going away. It's going to be done away with forever. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrows, and is a discerner of the thoughts and tents of the heart. The word of God is not there to condemn you. It is there to help you because God loves us. He wants us to have peace, and the answers are right there in the Bible. It's not in these it's not in this right here. I'm telling you right now. This stuff you're not going to get the answers. You're not going to get peace there. You're going to get it right here in the Bible.